Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're going to go over the daily general challenges in extensive detail, and then the list mode on all of the other ones. And then last but not least, we're going to go over Madame Nazar's location. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and share these videos with everyone that you know and everywhere that you possibly can and making sure that you guys hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that i do drop a video just like this this one and honestly make sure that you guys are checking your notifications because you never know when you guys have missed something that has been dropped but anyway let's go ahead and get started with the collection sets and their current cycles the fossils will be a part of cycle number six the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number three arrowheads at cycle number two family heirlooms at cycle number six and then the coins are going to be a part of cycle number two. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, because ultimately it's going to help you guys make a lot of money here in Red Dead Online, as it is the best money-making method, hands down, that you guys can actually do as of right now. Things can always change, but it is the best one and has been the best one since the collector rule actually came out. So American Wildflowers will be a part of cycle number four. You can actually collect three of those every single day. We have the tarot cards at cycle number two, antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five, and last but not least, we have the bird eggs at cycle number six. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the daily general challenges. We're going to start with the daily, uh, like daily general challenges. That's what I just got done saying. But we're going to go over those in extensive detail and all of the daily role challenges. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of them, make sure that you guys go ahead and leave a comment down below, whether they are the same for you guys or if they are different. If you guys have questions regarding them, make sure that you guys go ahead and ask because I can't answer any questions if you guys don't ask them. Also, if you guys, everybody has the same daily general challenges, so that doesn't really matter if you're brand new to the game or if you are the highest ranked player in the game, there will always be the same for everybody. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We got one bear is killed. You can go after grizzly bears or black bears in this case. And honestly, my go-to location for this is going to be over in uh, at uh, uh, Tall Trees, way over here. It's where you guys want to actually kind of hang out. Uh, you guys can actually typically find grizzly bear at this location, a grizzly bear at this location, and also over here by Aurora Basin. And then anywhere in the middle here, there can usually be a grizzly bear and and a lot of black bears are in this location as well. So that is probably my go-to location for that. And there's also a grizzly bear hanging out over in this um, abandoned shack area or homestead area. So go check that out area out as well. You only have to kill one bear in order to do that. And you only have to kill it. You don't even have to skin it. Uh, 500 distance swim. Go to any body of water that is allowed to be swimable and uh, go ahead and swim. Typically, this does take you guys to have to uh, rebuild your stamina in order to participate in it again. So you'll get about halfway done and then you'll have to rest for a little bit and then you can do the next half a little bit later. A distance of 10,560 by train. That is a heck of a lot of distance by train because ultimately it's a slow moving vehicle in the game. Your horse is faster than it, and uh, I honestly, I don't plan on doing it, but I don't plan on doing a lot of the daily challenges because there are only point one. I'm probably just going to continue my streak, and that's about it. Um, so any train location, you're going to have to, you can go to Emerald Station, uh, you can go down to McFarland's Ranch, anywhere that has a train station, just wait there for a little while and a train will come by. And then five flying birds killed while on a moving train, so these two could go hand in hand unless you just want to get the five flying birds killed is i would do this during the day because it's going to be easier to one see the birds number two there's a lot more during the day that you guys can actually see anyway so uh any location is going to be pretty good but if you guys can actually get into like north of san Denis, it's a great opportunity just because there are a lot of birds in that area help someone in need um I haven't had this actually happen in quite some time. There's usually going to be one that's actually right about in this location. There's usually a spot at here at this shack right there. Um, you can actually usually find one that's kind of chilling out in the Lemoyne area uh, right in this um, virus infected area. Um, and that's honestly the ones that I remember because I haven't had these show up in I don't even know how long. But leave a comment down below. When's the last time that you guys have actually helped someone in need? The next one is going to be story mission completed. 
You guys can replay it through the progress menu or you can do a quick join and then replay any story mission that you've already completed. If you're brand new to the game, it'll be towards the beginning, depending on how far you've gotten with the story missions. And I highly recommend that you guys get those done as fast as you possibly can because they do kind of help you get started in the game at least making a few extra bucks um and then we got visited a bl uh, shop in blackwater it doesn't matter where you guys go i like to go to the butcher just because well you never actually have to get at the horse and making that one really complete so that is all of the daily general challenges done gone over and covered so if you guys have any further questions again leave a comment down below otherwise we're just going to go over um minor details and just go over the list for the rest of them going forward so we got the bounty hunter roll two bounties brought in from lemoyne posters two bounties completed with at least one other posse member three bounty targets brought in the trader roll is a distance of 15,838 by delivery wagon traveled on mission 20 donations to crips two resupply missions completed the collector roll three and uh, american wildflowers found five bird eggs found two collectibles found with a metal detector the moonshiner roll one completed special moonshine recipe two crafted toxic moonshine four moonshine served to other players at a bar Three farmland animals samples taken, two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold, and then one legendary animal photographed. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is where you can find Mad Mazar for today. And Mad Mazar can actually be found at the Emerald Ranch or Emerald Station area. So for all of your Mad Mazar needs, whether buying or selling, you can find Mad Mazar right here in emerald ranch but that is everything gone gone over covered like i said before if you guys have any questions make sure that you guys go ahead and ask them down below otherwise if you guys did find it helpful or enjoyable make sure that you guys go ahead and like and subscribe down below but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming